I keep getting emails from all of you guys saying to check out this crazy collection. Somebody has a massive collection on YouTube and they just posted a video. Check it out, Rev. I think I'll check it out. All right, so we're going to check out this video. We're going to react to it and see exactly what we have here. I have no idea. All I saw was a thumbnail with a ton of base set cards. So I'm going in blind on this. Let's see what we got. Nice intro. Pokemon's Alex. So I've got a very special video for today. I've literally got all of my Pokemon stuff out of the loft from our recent move. And there's to say there is- That is a lot, lot of stuff. So okay, let's go. Box. Unfortunately, the cards have, most of the packs have been opened. I do have seven that okay. are not, but- So an open base set box. Get a Venusaur on top. Sorted through here, as well as a few empty packets and the sealed ones underneath. Have a few of the starter decks have been opened. This has just got the outer seal taken out, but if I open it up... Starter deck sealed inside sealed with inside. the wrap off the outside of it. So I actually have one. I'm seeing a lot of binders. Two. This one's actually still got the seal seal on the outside. Three. Again, this one's still sealed on the inside. I have a German one for you German people out there. Uh, another overgrowth, but this one's empty. And another two of the sealed. And then, yeah, we have the pre-constructed theme decks. This one still has the ceiling around it. And I actually have one, two. Those are six. Six of these. Six sealed. Unfortunately, two of them are already pre Pre-constructed theme decks. That's just the ceiling on the outside, as you can see. The deck Entire cases still. of them. Absolutely an amazing collection. Should have seen the excitement on our faces when we was pulling it all out of the loft. Literally. So they said they here. moved. I'm guessing that they stored this away. Maybe they forgot Crazy. about it. Okay, we got binders, stacks of binders yeah. we're going to jump into. Let's see. You can see there's a big stack of cards just stacks ready to be sorted of cards. out. Try to be careful. So you got the Venusaur on top. Very mint condition. I'm just going to zoom in quickly. They are mint. So you must just open them up and throw them right in there. I mean, look at the stack. Tons of empty artworks, as you can see. And then, as a little surprise, those are long crimp. Steel those are sealed packs. Fourth print the book, base packs. sets. So yeah, those got to have four, probably the 1999 five, to 2000 seven. on the bottom of the steel, actual cards, which are a lot sealed. rarer. Could you imagine having this steel sealed? Oh, 60 grand sitting there. So now I have all of these stacked here. I've just show you a quick just one of these binders so if i zoom out quickly there's quite a few binders here as you can see i mean some of them are full if i turn this to the side i mean you can see slightly they are full of the base set I'm just okay here we go page. let's zoom out here binder First hollows page, as you can see absolutely like stunning complete second Wait. page oh, how many sets here. Absolutely fantastic. Apparently, there's this just is just one binder. One binder. There's just one binder. I mean, look, how many Charizards is that already? Three. How does somebody have this many holo cards? Four. It's just nonstop. I feel like it's Groundhog's Day right now. I'm the seeing others. the same page over and over again. Five, six. I really want to know if these are 1999 to 2000 holos too. I mean, that would be so even brutal. crazier. It's okay, now we're diving in. We got far. the cards out of one of the binders. In the camera. Just to give you an idea, just of how many i've got so far i'm gonna zoom in so i'll start with the um notable three so the blastoise how many blastoise is this 20 years so i'm assuming these are all mid the i'm assuming that order. they open them up and just okay, so the next one stack them up Venusaur. you can stack some again, just a Woo. fat stack same cards i, I personally would throw those in a sleeve immediately if not sooner just Scrolling. to keep the conditions good on those the hollows could scratch really easy if you keep pushing them against each other like that. You probably all want to see a stack of... Are you guys ready okay, for this? See I don't know if you're ready. The base set Charizard. I mean, look at the condition. Again, slight bend in the cards. Ooh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, beautiful. 11, 12, I mean, 13, I don't know 14, where 15, you're going to find 16, the collection this big. 17, 18, 19, starting. 20, 21, Literally 22. one folder down. How does somebody open this many packs to pull that many Charizards? Second binder through. Oh, so we're literally just going to go through this video. And they're going to open up every single binder and just keep the stacks going. The camera down. The So many hollows. Just hollows. I mean, I'm going to give you an update of the main three. They had to have just been sitting there. 
Yeah. I guess as kids, <laughs> and just yeah. opening endless know, packs, there has to I be more of a story here. There's gotta be. Leads are fake and they're not I mean, as real, kids, you gotta think, I mean, we pulled a Charizard if we were lucky. I never pulled one as a kid. I pulled Blastoise, I believe, in Venusaur. I never pulled a Charizard. Look at all these Blastoise! <laughs> and we are only two binders in. I say two and a quarter binders in. It's gotta be in. like 50 Blastoise. Yeah, it's base absolutely set. crazy. You can still see the shine on them. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Again, they are not fake. They are real. Oh, man. I'm kind of speechless. I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I'm kind of... I'm nervous. I'm nervous to see how... how much more right. when you can shuffle through a stack of venusaur like a deck of cards and every single card is a venusaur hollow mid condition there's got to be more of a story is the charizards look at all the charizards i'm gonna i'm gonna get so many people saying that these are fake i'll try to show his best how real they are they are mid condition but i hope the hollows aren't getting scratched up right now literally slight Throw him in the sleeve. Oh, the Throw him in the sleeve. Condition. You had him in the binders all these years. I mean, just look at how many there are. This is crazy. I think we're about five hours in now. Just a little update on how the stacks are going. I think you can see that the hollow. I don't think he said like the uh, really a story yet. I, if else. if they're going to, I know all he said crazy. was that they had to move just or something and they pulled these out of storage. That, of the stack of charts that this we have, in storage? as well as every other hollow. So it is very big. I know we're gonna just gonna. No one's gonna believe these are all. Oh, those are real. Genuine Charizards. How many booster packs? How many booster Seven boxes? How is that even long. possible? We need to do some math. We need to do some some math, Poke Cave. Okay, let's say there's 2,000 hollows. Right? Times that by three, because it's one in every three pack. You get a hollow. That's 6,000 packs. Divide that by 36 packs in a booster box. 166 booster boxes. They're not done. They're not even close to done yet, it seems. These guys must have been taking out the trash. Mom's like, hey, take out the trash. I'll get you a booster box. Make your bed. I'll get you a booster box. Next day, clean up the kitchen. Booster box. Put your toys away. Booster box. Turn the TV off. Booster box. These guys must have been rolling into elementary school with Charizards in every single pocket. Just a necklace of Charizard all around. They got to have over a million dollars. Easily. Quite lucky that we have even amount of the three. Literally even. Okay, so it's the next day. Um, literally down to the last stack of hollows now. The, I need uh, to know how many hollows the there ever are here at the end stack. of this thing. Okay, so Woo. after a very, very long few hours, I'd say... Cool. Something doesn't make sense to me right now. You could see on the table how many non hollows there are in comparison to the hollows. This is a, this is a pack of base set unlimited. Eleven cards inside of here. So if they have two thousand hollows, so we do two thousand again times three, one in three, so six thousand packs. So six thousand times eleven is sixty-six thousand cards. There should be. I know, way more non hollows so I feel like. In a lot of them are 1999 to 2000 cards, which is even rarer. Oh my god, there is so many, it is just crazy. Look at the stack of trainer and energy I guess. cards. Like there's a million, there has to be, like a half a million, a million dollars of cards on the table. I'm slowly go through this stack, we're gonna have Okay, they're gonna count them up. There's so many Charizards. We're at 60! 60 Charizard! This guy's currency is Pokemon cards, it's Charizards. Need to go out on a date to grab dinner? Charizard. 100. Need to go get some new clothes? Bring a Charizard. What's the total count? 100. 111 11. Charizard from base set. Like, okay. Oh my god, just look at this. Okay, oh here god, come the Blastoise now. Look. Like, I feel like I gotta shuffle for him quick because there's so many. <laughs> so many. It's just crazy. Venusaur's upcoming now. Okay, Not so the last Charizard in a PSA 9 sold for $1,700. Let's just say, on average, there's PSA 9s for most of these Charizards. So, 1,700 times 111 is almost $200,000. It's $188,000 on just the Charizard stack. We're going to be at the very least half a million dollars of cards there. At the very, very least. How'd they get so many packs? Like, how'd they get so many booster boxes? You know, as a kid, I remember being a kid and just on the weekend going to the card shop and getting two, three, maybe four packs a week. You guys remember when I opened up 6,000 booster packs very recently? Do you remember how long that took me? Like 10 days of streaming, 9 or 10 days of streaming for 7 to 8 hours a day. 
to open up yeah. 6,000 packs. I just can't believe it. I just cannot believe it. And I'm sure you guys don't either. So it looks like the Blastoise and PSA 9 are going for about $800 each. So there's around the same amount in every stack, or at least the Blastoise and the Charizard. So if we do 800 times 111, you got $88,000 there. Almost a hundred thousand. So you're almost you're like pushing close to three hundred thousand dollars just with the Blastoise and, and the Charizard at like a pretty reasonable PSA nine grade on all of them if they are just straight from the packs and just put away, which it seems to be the case. So there's there's got to be a million dollars of cards there. So many, so many. That's so mind blowing. How did you forget about them? How did you open up so many? I have so many questions. <laughs> So we'll show you the Gyarados next. As fresh Woo! as the day they were printed. Almost. <laughs> too many to hold. Too many to scroll through. I'm reconsidering Just everything I know. Myself. I don't know what it's to do. For, um, I don't know what to do. But girlfriend. what's really confusing and to me we, is the non house Where did all those go? Hours. See how many Pidgey there are there? There's there's like not that many. Unless they, he didn't stack up all the, the non hollows You'd probably have so many Pidgey. You'd have way more Pidgey than Charizard. You'd have way more Doduo than Mewtwo. Like way more. For every one hollow that you get, there should be 32 non hollows Because it's one in three packs. But as you can see, the hollows are just stacked to the sky and the hollows are all pretty even in stacks you would think that you would get different amounts of them and i could go through every single one trying to prove that they there's no other cards in there to try and build the stack i'm not arguing the legitimacy of the actual cards themselves i'm just i don't understand how you acquire those and not have all the bulk i guess that's everything laid out on the table there the ultimate collection as you can see, the hollows are gone. That uh, is now, they are finally into the uh, binders and it took up three and a, three and a bit, three and three quarters binders. So I do have the official Pokemon binders from back in the day. Okay, you ready to see the first page? Raw, <laughs> look at that. Charizard binder. Absolutely amazing. So if I come across like this, you can see both sides, just so you can see. Man, that is crazy. That is crazy. I would definitely recommend a different binder though, an Ultra Pro or something, just so you don't get the indents yeah, from those types of binders. Number. It's been a long, it's which probably is pretty common. About six hours to put these all into the binders as of now. Just Blastoise, yeah, Blastoise everywhere. Next. Pages. So Venusaur next. up next. So many. These binders are so heavy. Yeah, look, like Raichu next. Have to quickly skim through. Just Woo. don't want this video to take too long. Gyarados? Right, stay on to the Gyarados next. Then after Gyarados, after the pages of Gyarados. The pages of Zapdos. Okay, so this one continues with the Zapdos. And we're over to the Nine Tails. Page after page of Nine Tails. Then Alakazam. Page after page. Well, that was pretty insane. I don't know. I mean, the cards look good. Everything looks good with the hollows. I'm just curious why there's not as many not hollow cards there. But either way, that's an insane, I don't know what to call it. Maybe not a fine, but an insane thing to put away in storage. I wish there was more to the story, though. Like, I feel like a, it's like a cliffhanger. So, Pokemans, Alex, if you ever do an update on this, let us know, you know, like, what's, like, the full story? Did you open all these packs as a kid to get these? Like, it's just an insane amount of hollow cards. And again, like, as, when we were kids, just to get a couple hollows from base set was, like, really, really good. But to have thousands is insane. I'm just curious also where, like, the other non hollow cards are i assume there would be a lot more than that but yeah awesome collection really cool to uh be able to check this out on the channel here and yeah guys that is gonna be it hope you have a great day and i will see you on the next one